Hey guys, what is up? The NeoCubist here. Welcome to showcasing Minecraft with the most extreme graphics you've ever seen. So we're all familiar with the default textures, right? Everything looks good. Of course, I'm running a ray tracing shader here, uh, but everything looks pretty normal, right? Well, let's change that. Here we go. This is Minecraft using 60 gigabytes of RAM. So we're only going to get about 30 frames a second here, but I'm shooting this in 4K, so you got to give me a break. Each one of these textures is 2048 by 2048 pixels. The default textures in Minecraft are 16 by 16 pixels. And it's just, I can't, the, there's not words. For example, this granite right here looks like my parents' countertop. <laughs> this is the polished granite. And then this is the granite that you would find in the wild. Looks like the surface of Mars when you zoom in, but then you realize, oh, it's just one little teeny tiny block. So let's go through some of these textures. Then we'll go look at a normal Minecraft world and we'll do a little bit of exploring. So this right here is andesite and andesite looks absolutely incredible zoomed in. The textures are actually three dimensional. Like they're, they're not just like 2D textures anymore too. And that's done through a technology called normal mapping. So some insane software stuff there. I believe this is diorite, yes. So this is what diorite looks like in the world. And just, there's there's no words, right? So let's move on to the woods, right? We, we all know and love birchwood, right? So this is what birchwood looks like in 2048 by 2048 textures. <laughs> so this is the stratum 2048 by 2048 texture pack. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below. But let me just tell you guys, it is absolutely insane. So I think this is what dark, no, this is just your normal oak logs. You see oak log in the world, it's going to be looking like this. It's going to be looking real, real nice. And then, of course, we've got the acacia log right here. Is it acacia? Right, yeah. So basically, the wood looks like real life, and then there's the dark oak wood. Let's come down to here. Let's look at some of the most impressive blocks in this. So this is the magma block. We all know magma. <laughs> you guys probably saw that on the thumbnail, but let me just tell you guys absolutely incredible i i don't quite understand how they do this but it's just it almost makes you a little uncomfortable you know it's just so good this is obsidian um so i'm using optifine to zoom in here but yeah that's that's obsidian and it actually reflects the light like for instance if there's like a little reflection right here you can see that red on the obsidian now it's just it's 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 minecraft but gone a little bit too far oops let me fix this there we go guys there are those 2048 by 2048 diamonds. So as you can see, absolutely incredible. So again, this is that granite that I showed. Looks like my parents' countertop. This is gravel. So everyone hates gravel, right? The texture is kind of ugly, but now gravel looks like, well, it looks like gravel, you know, and, I, and I'm not trying to sound, you know, sarcastic, but it literally just looks like gravel. Um, and then right here, we have some spruce leaves. Dude, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. We have a lot of blocks to go through. I want to go through the normal world as well. Uh, but first, I want to talk about how I'm doing this. So thanks to NZXT, I received a computer to make some cool videos for you guys. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it now. So this video is sponsored by NZXT. And they sent me out one of the most capable PCs money can buy to make some incredible videos for you all. My computer is built inside the beautiful white NZXT H710i case and has more RGB than anyone could ever need. I have an NZXT Kraken Z73 all-in-one liquid CPU cooler that is so amazing it even has a display built into it. You can put cool GIFs in it or you can even display system info such as CPU and GPU temperature. Surrounding the cooler is 128 glorious gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z Neo RAM, which is funny. It's actually called Trident Z Neo, so it's perfect for me, and it has some RGB on it as well. But 128 gigabytes is more than anyone should ever need, but I require about 60 gigabytes to load these textures. Under that cooler, we have an Intel i9-10980XE 18-core processor. For graphics, we have an EVGA RTX 3090 for the win Ultra Edition. It's insane. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are hearing. So let's talk about how you can get your own NZXT PC. Start by clicking the first link below to head over to NZXT Build. NZXT Build is the simplest way to get a gaming PC customized exactly the way you want. Start by choosing the games you want to play, set a budget, and NZXT Build takes care of the rest. NZXT Build is available in the USA and Canada. 
NZXT Build also offers pre-built computers made for any use case, streaming, creating, and more. Pre-built machines are not charged the $99 service fee. Simply choose the computer you want, and that's it. You're done. And again, guys, big thanks to NZXT. I really do appreciate you guys sending out this computer, and I hope everyone out there watching this is enjoying it as well. Uh, but thank you so much for sponsoring my channel. Anyways, let's move right back into the video. So, again, we have oak leaves. <laughs> And you zoom in, right? You're like your your brain's like, Ugh. it's it's almost too much, right? It, it's almost too much. And even with a 3090 and that huge i9 10980xe processor with 128 gigabytes of RAM, you can still only pull about 30 FPS uh, in 4K resolution. So this right here is bedrock, and bedrock looks absolutely insane. Looks like you're staring at the surface of the moon or something. But yeah, guys, I really could have just like tricked you and started the video right here and be like, all right, we're going to be on the moon today. And then I zoom out and you're like, what? <laughs> so this is cobblestone, the block we all know and love. And look at that. It looks it it, it just looks like cobblestone. I mean, it's just it's I, there, there's no words. This is stone brick, you know, just looks like stone brick. This is mossy stone brick. Looks like mossy stone brick. Bricks now look like bricks. <laughs> I know sheep. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? So bricks are incredible. I mean, that's one of my favorite textures, I think, is the brick, just because it actually looks like brick. So this is something, I'm not sure what this is. I know it's in the nether, but I don't know where it is. It's called warped, warped hyphae or something, and it looks just, it just looked really cool. So I figured I'd show it off. I don't, I don't quite know what it is exactly, but it looks absolutely incredible. So this is nether gold. Um, it's a little bit bright in the sun there, but if you zoom in, you can kind of see it. It almost isn't yellow enough, but that's okay. I think it has more to do with the sun being so bright. This is netherrack, so it looks kind of, it looks like lava rock. If you've ever seen like some some rocks formed by lava, you know, it looks like lava. And then I think this is the nether bricks. You can see the mortar in between the bricks there. It just looks, guys, it's too far. Now, <laughs> This is endstone, and endstone is by far like just just the weirdest looking texture. Like it, it literally looks like you're on the moon when you're in the end. And we'll, it, we will go to the end in one of these videos, I promise. So this is oakwood planks. I mean, obviously it looks like oakwood planks, but in real life, like a flooring for a house. I did build a little bit of a house over here. We will go and look at it in a second. And then of course you got the dark oak planks. And then if I rotate here and grab a little bit of that sun reflection in there, ah, absolutely magnificent. Uh, so this is green wool. You guys know lime green wool, right? It looks, it just looks like woven wool. We got some iron ore here. Looks literally like iron ore. And same with coal. Just looks like coal. We got sand. I promise we'll get to some other stuff in a second. But I just, I have to show you some of my favorite textures. This is dirt. Like what? It looks, it looks like, it looks like dirt in real life. There might be a worm in there too. You never know. And then of course the, the block we've been standing on the grass looks like, well, it looks like grass. <laughs> and then right here, we have stripped oak wood. So the top of it actually looks like oak wood, which is just absolutely wild. And then we have pods all. Looks like roots in the ground or something. I don't, I, I'm don't. i not quite sure, but you can see the roots going into the bottom. It's just like, what? It's literally so crazy. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, this is the furnace. I was looking at the side of it. I was like, this doesn't look like anything I remember. Yeah. They did the furnace. They they did the furnace very well. <laughs> it even has the little spot at the top. It's got the little burner on bottom. It just it just looks. It's just it's just so weird. So here's some dark oak fence. You know, it takes the same plank texture, makes it into fence. Looks good. We got some oak door. You know, it, it, if I get really close here and like zoom in, you can kind of start to see the pixels. Like, I mean, I'm talking. If I were to go FOV like 30 and then zoom in, you can like you can see the pixels. So it's like this is how tiny it is. Like that looks like pretty big you know you zoom out and then you zoom out again like this and you're just like oh my gosh that's a lot of detail so that is the oak door it looks pretty cool redstone lamps i think are one of my favorites just because they look like an actual like like you could see the lighting texture like there's literally the wood over each little illumination piece it's like oh my gosh <laughs> like that's absolutely incredible Glass is cool too. You know, it, it it looks good. It doesn't have much much normal mapping going on, I don't think, but that's probably good. But it it looks like glass. And then last, certainly certainly not least, we have a mossy cobblestone wall. Look at that. It looks like I mean mossy cobblestone wall. All these textures are so realistic that you literally look like this is concrete powder. This is actually the last one. You can just see all the little pebbles, all the little ingredients of concrete, and then we have some black concrete powder as well. And it just it's just. 
it's just too much, man. I mean, it's just, ah, all right, well, let's walk into the house and then we'll go to the normal part of the world and we'll do some other exploration as well. All right, guys, well, this is the front of the house and I'm about to nuke my FPS by going in here. This is using about 60 gigabytes of RAM right now. Uh, GPU is at 70 degrees, CPU is at 60 degrees, which for 18 cores, man, that's that's pretty good. So the, the dark oak door looks good. Let's just walk into here. And now we're at about 20 FPS, which is okay. I mean, it's completely understandable. You can see the light ray tracing in through the window. And then you can see the polished granite floors. You can see that exact pattern, that, that wood reflection, and then the actual like light at the top. Like it's just it's absolutely crazy. We, you know, we got some burning furnaces, got the old school Minecraft little texture there. That's about the default, you know, resolution. And it just, it just, it just hits different guys. There's just, there's nothing like it. Like there really isn't these acacia leaves just look, they're just, that's like the biggest FPS killer is these leaves, man. If you put the leaves down, like a lot of them, like if I just put a ton of them down here, I can make my computer cry. Like watch this. Now I'm getting about 18 FPS, um, but it looks really good. <laughs> you know, it, it looks really good. You could get lost in a maze of these leaves, you know? It's just like, how is that in Minecraft? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how is that? This is in Minecraft? Like, what? <laughs> it's cool because, like, these lanterns give off a nice blue light. You know, it's pretty interesting looking. Uh, but, yeah. Let's go to a normal Minecraft world and see how that looks. And we'll we'll, we'll change some shader packs and stuff as, as well. Um, let me go into my shaders here. I have quite a bit of them. Um, we're going to go down to Cylders, Vibrant, Extreme Volumetrics. These do not have the ray tracing. So unfortunately, like these 3D blocks, are they're still 3D, right? But they're not going to have that like reflectivity factor. Um, everything still looks really good in three-dimensional. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be beating Minecraft in, which will be another video in this series is going to be beating Minecraft with 4K graphics. Let's switch it back over to ray tracing shaders and enter a normal world. Let's do it. Ah, there we go. A ray traced world in the highest, best possible <laughs> resolution in Minecraft. There's a few people that have pushed it to 496 by 496, but it's just... Those texture packs are not actually available to the public and they are absolutely insane. But like just looking at some grass, you know, through things, it just looks absolutely incredible. So we're gonna try out another shader here. This is called Continuum uh, 2.0.4. There's two of them, but this is the shader that comes with the Stratum texture pack and it does some crazy things as well. So it doesn't have that ray trace shadows or anything on the blocks, but the blocks just look absolutely incredible. Let's run over here. Let's see if I can make my computer cry. We're going to fly really, really fast and we're going to look for an ocean and we're going to see what a sunset looks like on that because you will not believe your eyes. I guarantee you, you know what? We don't even have to look at it like that. We'll, we'll just come right over here and we'll uh, set it to, I think it's 13,000 or so. Time set 13,000, I think is right around. Oh no, that's dark. That's very scary. I can't see anything. All you see is the moon over there in the distance. Oh, man. Wait, what's going on? Why Why is it? Oh, the sun's coming up. No, I don't want to see the sun rise. I want to see the sun set. Whoa, is that the moon? What is going on? Oh, my gosh. Look at the moon on the water. Let's actually increase the render distance here. 27 chunks. We'll see how that looks. Wow, the moon looks crazy. Absolutely insane. Yeah, that's that's the kind of moon shot you want. I mean, I, I don't... <laughs> That, that is just, that's too much. Let's, let's look at the sunrise though. So here's the sunset, not the sunrise, but the sunset on like 30 render distance. And it just looks absolutely insane. Just the way the sun and the water work together. It's just how this is Minecraft water. I'm not sure, but I really don't believe it. Let's find an ocean. And this is Minecraft running inside of the glaciers with the most insane textures you've ever seen. And this is how she looks pretty incredible the water just looks just golden orange i mean it's just like oh man there's not a better way to do this that's all i gotta say and here's the sunset with those volumetric shaders on and it's not as good but it's still really good i mean honestly like like when i say it's not as good i mean it's just that, that doesn't really mean much because all of this is absolutely insane i'm not sure underwater looks okay that looks interesting but man there's just that's just there's no words. Let's check out underwater with the ray tracing on. I don't know about you guys, but I really just want to dive in that. So let's just 
go into first person and oh man <laughs> that's incredible oh it feels like i'm underwater these are just the default minecraft textures this texture pack doesn't have every single thing done but you guys can see um it looks pretty crazy uh let's see how does the gravel oh, oh my gosh the gravel dude the gravel dude the gravel is all 3d underwater with the ripple effect and like oh man <laughs> has minecraft gone too far find out next time oh the glaciers dude there's just i it speaks for itself all these all these god rays under here which are the rays of light that come from the sun just look absolutely crazy but yeah i'd say the water looks about 10 out of 10 so there's that <laughs> 4k minecraft water have you ever seen it have you ever seen that 4k minecraft water underwater man it's crazy what, what does the dirt look like just just a little smidge of light on it just a little smidge and it just looks oh man it's like until you zoom in your eyes can't like take it in you know like like the dirt looks like you know you're like oh it looks okay and then you zoom in and you're like what and then you see all the light on like the three-dimensional parts of the dirt it's just absolutely incredible so here's this nice little area little overhang area and you can see the effect of lighting on the three-dimensional part of the block so you can see this stone up here only like the right side of it is lit up because of the angle of the sun so you can like literally see every little three dimension three dimensional divot or whatever you want to call it little dimples in the rock and it's just like oh man it's absolutely insane oh i i just no words so guys i want to see if i can push my computer to the limit so we're gonna fly really high up i'm talking so high up that the world turns into a hexagon i'm not really sure what that's all about but we're going to go very, very high up here, and we're going to crank the render distance. So with ray tracing on, we get the ray tracing shader on. We're going to crank her up to 48 chunks. Now, that is going to take so much RAM, I don't even want to talk about it. Every one of these blocks is 2,048 by 2,048 pixels, and it's going to be loading 48 chunks of that. I'm going to come back. We're going to do a little time lapse and let it load here. Okay, I think I finally got my recording software to start, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds messed up, but we're currently getting zero FPS, uh, which it looks like it freezes if I look around. I think it loaded only what was in my viewfinder, but it just... This is Minecraft engine. Like, like this NZXT computer is not... It's not really breaking a sweat. This is just a limitation of the Minecraft engine. It cannot load anymore. This computer really has been an absolute joy to use. I mean, this thing... You just you just can't build a computer that's better than this. I mean, you, you could do some more stuff with liquid cooling or something, but this is about the best you can get. A 3090, and then the CPU is absolutely incredible as well, especially for video editing. It's absolutely crazy. So, okay, we're back to creative, but we get 30 FPS. So, again, I'm sorry if the beginning of that was a little bit choppy. Um, we were getting zero FPS. So, snow... You know, it looks like snow, which is just, it's just the little things with all these HD textures. Let's check out a few more things. Sorry about that. Let's check out a few more things. So I do have a shader pack that's very weird. Um, it's called Ray Tracing Voxel Test. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but you guys are about to see it, and it's going to blow your mind. It's absolutely incredible. So this is still in Minecraft, but it's in a special demo. You can still hear a chicken walking around, uh, but this is a special sort of demo version. So I can click through some scenes here and just, just look at what Minecraft is capable of. You can do all of these things inside of Minecraft. And I don't know how it works. I don't know what this is, but it's a shader pack and it's a voxel test. I think it's made by the same people um, who make Suze or maybe it's Continuum. I really don't know. Uh, but it's just absolutely wild. Like those light sources, just all these calculations are extremely hard for a computer to make. And like this, this computer's not breaking a sweat. Great job, NZXT. So in short, guys, you all can see this computer is capable of a lot. And we're going to be doing some fun things uh, thanks to the sponsorship with NZXT. Here's a tree, a spruce tree, which will just absolutely make your computer go wild. I'm getting half 10 FPS now just because of all those textures. 
I mean, it just you just can't. I can't imagine the amount of calculations required for that. If you go into a forest, oh, it's game over. You don't want to go in a forest. Look at this. <laughs> I'm inside the tree. See, now I get like six FPS, all because of this tree, man. And then you look away, and it's like everything's a little bit better. Even being near the trees is just a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be beating Minecraft. I have a couple of other videos planned. We're going to do a hardcore world tour. Uh, there's going to be a face reveal. These are all the sponsored videos. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're not subscribed, you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm the Neo Cubist. I make a lot of hardcore Minecraft Let's Plays. I used to make Minecraft tutorials. So if you want to see more content on the channel, make sure you subscribe. Again, thank you guys so much at NZXT for the sponsorship. And thank you guys for sending over the most amazing computer I've ever seen. A computer that I could put my logo on, the CPU cooler. I don't know how that works, but it's absolutely incredible. And we'll end it here with the 16 FPS. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Even like the sunflowers and everything. But yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video if you want to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. I think Hardcore is going to go up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. So be on the lookout for that. Bye. All right, one more little thing. So we get 60 FPS, we're on the volumetric Suze, or sorry, not, yeah, these are the Suze shaders, right? No, these are Silders Vibrant Extreme Volumetric Lighting. I have the volumetric clouds turned on, which look absolutely incredible. So we'll, we'll fly up here to the cloud layer, make sure that we are in spectator mode, and we will fly at an extreme speed, and we will become the plane. So let me turn this down to two chunks. So these are the clouds. You can see them. <laughs> they look like real life clouds. I mean, obviously it's a little bit blurry, but I mean, that's how clouds are in real life. And look, we are flying through the clouds on the NZ, on, where we're riding an NZXT computer while doing this. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, NZXT. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.